Hey, Penny, we're going on a safari today to see some animals. Are you ready? I'm ready. Where are we rowing? Here, in Africa. Rosham. Whoa, we already spotted a rhino. There are five different types of rhinos. Three are from Asia and two are from Africa. Excuse me? Rhinoceros means nose horn. <laughs> Rhino horns are made from the same material our fingernails and hair are made out of. Rhinos eat up to 120 pounds of vegetation in a day. All five species of rhinoceros can weigh 2,200 pounds. Whoa! Now what? Let's draw, Rhinoceros! It's a great idea, Penny. That's why I made this worksheet just for you. Can rhinos do it? Of course you can! I'm a Rhinoceros! Hello again, chickadees. Are you ready? I'm ready. We're going to be drawing together. We're going to be making a rhino together. Aren't you excited? I'm excited. Now, I do warn you in advance, this one, it's good if you do it in pencil because um, there's, it's like a really complicated, not complicated drawing. So I advise pencil. I'll try to draw with black pencil. We'll see if that shows up. Um, that will help out a lot. So the first shape you're going to want to make, um, and you're going to make it towards the left-hand side of your page, it's like an apostrophe like this. And then I'm going to make a straight line coming from it to just about here, just to where we about started that apostrophe. And then I'm going to make a short little line right there. Small line. The next thing we're going to do is an apostrophe. We're going to make it facing that way. So we're going to do that now. Now, if you've ever drawn a horse, this actually reminds me a lot of a horse. And I'm going to make this come out a little bit further than I just did, like that. So that's, if you see the space right here, you really want to think about that space. I was making a little too horsey. <laughs> okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to start to put in um, that top horn and a little bit of that nose. So let's start in the nose. The first thing in the nose, it's just kind of like a V, but it's a little bit curvy. So you're going to start here and you're going to make a V like that. And it's a little bit curvy. And we're going to make it a friend one inside. So it's going to follow the same thing. And later you can use that for shading. Good? All right, I hope you're with me. Stay with me, we can do this. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do that corn um, on the forehead. Now, I can't imagine carrying this around. That must be a lot of weight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up. Now, if this is your nostril here, give yourself a little ways. If you want, you can drive your pencil over that way and know that you're gonna erase it later. And then you're gonna come up and make that horn out of the corn comes up. This is the big one in the front. And then we're gonna come down. So it's just a letter like a curvy letter V or crescent moon, like that. Okay, kind of looks like a Viking helmet right now. That's pretty cool. All right, so we want to make it curve into the body because it doesn't just kind of jut out. It, it's There's skin around it. So we're going to go in and we're going to make the curved line. So again, you're just you're repeating this line basically here. So you're doing that. Okay, we can do this. All right, let's do the next one. So the next one is the same thing, but it's shorter. So if you want, you can give yourself a little mark on your page so you know that this is shorter than that, and then put it in. So you're doing the same shape. You'll notice I'm actually coming over this line. We can erase this line at the end, or you can try to incorporate it into your drawing, but on the curvy line like this, these like apostrophe lines, and then back down this way. And I'm gonna let this go all the way to the end of this line that we started with, that apostrophe line. So I've got it. Okay, we're moving. We can do this. All right, so the next thing to do is from that forehead, now we want to do the line from, sorry, from this horn, we want to do the line that's the forehead. So we do that by making a curve this way. Okay, so we curve this way, and we're actually going to do it again up here. So I'm going to go a little bit more. So I'm going to go up, 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 and I'm going to let it go all the way to there. And you can, now I, hopefully you can start to feel like you're building out the face. So you've got your forehead, you've got your horn, you've got your other horn, and you're pretty good. <laughs> I hope. Okay, so what we're going to do while we're here, we're just in the forehead, let's let's start those ears. So what I'm going to do is do one line, it goes up on, this is on an angle, if this is straight, you can see this is on an angle like that. So it's one line from that last line up there. I like to make ears a little bigger than they actually are. <laughs> That's just personal preference. And then I'm going to start the 
start for the other ear. So I'm actually only giving myself a little bit of space because the, the forehead would come through here. So the ear is actually going to come this way. So where you have one line like this, the next line is going to come up. Now I'm making this ear way bigger than it probably is, but that's okay. So I have those two lines. Those are like my guides for the rest. If you have those in, the rest of the ear will kind of just come together. I'm going to do one other line that um, one of my friends actually taught me this, is if you are having trouble figuring out where you're going to put your eyeball and this sort of stuff, you find things around to measure. So we're going to come back into this horn. We're going to finish up just like the other one, curve that line. And then I'm going to measure over. So I'm going to go over just about to there. Now again, you can erase these little lines that I draw in here. Um, you should erase them, <laughs> but they're helpful when you're trying to figure out where things are in our drawing, our little lines and marks. So now I'm going to start drawing the eye. So I give myself a little line like this, and all this is is a, it's, um, it's a rainbow line. <laughs> it's a rainbow line. So we're going to go rainbow line, and you'll notice I'm also, I'm not doing it straight, it's on an angle. Okay, and then the next one, again, is one that meets it. Okay, so we're going to draw some lines around there. We're just mimicking the shapes. It's mimicking this way and mimicking that way. They have a lot of wrinkles. I like actually drawing wrinkles very much. Um, and then I'm going to put an eye. Now, when I look at photographs, they do seem to have these really thick lashes. So you actually, I give myself about halfway through the eye is where I'm going to shade. So I would actually shade in here and kind of ignore the top because they seem to have these thick lashes that cover their eyes. All right, it's starting to look like a, like a rhino. I almost said hippo, but I do think they look a lot alike. <laughs> so what we're going to do next is we're going to finish off those ears and we're going to work a little bit in the mouth. I said later we'd change it. We do need to change it, but it's a good starting point. So over here, you've got a teardrop sort of shape. So you're going to go down and then curve your line out. So you're starting at this point and then curve your line out like that. And we're also going to give that one a mimic line. Now, rhinos really only have hair on their ears and the tips of their tails. So the neat, the rest of them are pretty, they're just like really super thick skin, like armor. All right, and the next thing we're gonna do is the other ear, same thing, it's like that teardrop shape. You find that one a lot in nature. And if you want like a reference, you're gonna go here and you're gonna hop to here, okay? So give yourself enough room and you're gonna do that teardrop shape and I'm gonna make the end kind of curve. Again, we're going to do mimicking in here, so mimic the inside this way, and then back that way. So we have a good, looks kind of like an anteater now. It will look like a rhino. We're almost there. All right, final countdown, final countdown. That is always playing in my head when I'm drawing. <laughs> I don't know what plays in your head, but that's plays in mine. All right, and so we're just going to bring up the line up here. It's just like a little curvy mountain. However you do it is good. Just try to make it look like it's connecting from here, because it is. It's just you can't see it because of the giant ear. Alright, we're going to draw a little bit down here. Again, you can kind of play with this. Um, it doesn't need to be exact. I just try to make sure it doesn't look like it's just a floating head on the page. <laughs> Generally, that's, um, well, it's not what I'm trying to draw, so <laughs> I'm trying to stay with what I'm trying to draw. Alright, now let's finish up this mouth. Now what we want to do is now we're going to take this and turn this into a curve. So we're going to curve this out. We started with like a little straight line. We're going to curve, curve, curve. And I'm going to come in, make another line right there, and then curve around. So I'm just modifying what I had. Alright. I'm also going to draw the line over here. Cover that nose. And you have a pretty good rhino. Now what I like to do is shade this in. Um, and also erase all my stuff. So I'm going to shade. I'll put that in um, fast forward so you guys don't have to watch me shade, but if you want, freeze it at the end and see what I did to get an idea of what you could do. So I'm going to erase here in the horn. I'm going to erase there. Ooh, this does not want to go away. Of course, I'm not using the best eraser here, am I? I'm going to get rid of any little guidelines I put in to make sure that all my stuff was in the right spot. And then I'm going to shade it. And I hope you guys are going to shade it. And I'll see you in a little bit. Hi. 
right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. And remember, just keep drawing.